Okay, so today is a fun little video. Well, it is a video, but it's something that I just need to get done. So, as many people do during the summer, I would. I don't even know what I'm saying. Basically, I'm moving out in a couple of months, and I need to declutter this wardrobe, and that's what's happening today. That is something I need to get done because I'm going home somewhere in the near, very near future. I do not know when exactly. So I want to go through that today, purate it. Is that right, the right term? Purate? Air purate? Anyway, I plan to just tidy up and just try and get rid of as much as possible. When I moved in in April, I bought myself about 50, I think, of these hangers, which as you can see, I've doubled certain clothing on them up. That's mostly because they are the same clothing, just different colour. But before that, in my wardrobe, I only had eight of these hangers. So my plan is, the goal, is to not use these anymore because they are so flimsy, like, literally. Like, can you see? Like, I do not like these because they're so flimsy. They're really cheap, so I guess they're a good bargain. They do what you want, just they're not good when you've got heavy clothes. And, I'm getting distracted, I only want to have gold hangers left in usage and I only want them and I don't want them all to be in use so I'm not going to trick that by folding like most of the clothes up no I really just want to try and minimise my stuff um, because I have too much and let's be honest I'm probably not the only person that wears the same few clothes on rotation I right, yeah so we're gonna get going and we're gonna do that and that is the goal for today well first, I am going to go get an iced coffee and some cookies because I haven't eaten yet because I've slept most of the morning away and it's one o'clock, well half one, so I didn't get something in me and I really want some cookies. I've been really wanting them for the past few days, I just haven't had the time or the energy to go and get them. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to get an iced coffee, I don't know if I said that before, but yeah, <clears throat> my voice is going so hopefully. It doesn't fully go, and um, yep. let's get going. first I need to put all my clothes on my bed and do it my cover style which is creating a big pile of all my clothes um this is so heavy whoa I'm just gonna leave my workouts off my pajamas up there because there's not really that much so I don't see the point of taking that down but this right here is the amount of clothes I have to go through now I have this lovely Ikea bag, which I'm going to put all the clothes that are donated, sold or given away. Um, yeah, gosh. This is a lot of clothes. I don't, I don't really know where or how to start this. Ah, flip. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so this is a cute top. Um, I bought it not too long ago from Shein. We're gonna keep it. This jumper. I actually wore it recently. This is gonna go on a hanger. Probably should have taken off all my probably should have taken all my clothes off of the hangers before throwing them away. Oh before throwing them on the bed. <sighs> I have this cute skirt here. I've got it in this rust colour and in camel. I don't know how you meant to hang up skirts, so I'm just going to fold them like I had them before. And yeah, for now I'm just holding on to things because the things that top of the pile seem to be stuff I've bought relatively recently. Ah, oh, this jumper. It's literally so soft. Now I had it hung up, but I noticed it was starting to get deformed from being hung up. So I'm going to fold it away. 
this shirt. I wish I didn't buy it this jump in spring. Well, actually, I bought it in spring and I got it from the sales section, so I got a good deal. But it would have been so nice having this jumper in winter. Another skirt, and I've got this same one in blue also. Um, no idea where the blue one is. Shorts, we love that. How do you? I'm gonna film so long right now, but how do you put your shorts on? <laughs> you just put them like that. Yeah, that looks alright. I recently got these from Depop. There are Levi. Oh, Levi for the 501. Levi Levis 501. The thing cropped, I think. But they're cute. Oh, I love this crop top. Make sure it's like so comfy. Ah, oh, these two tops. I absolutely love them, but I think I'm gonna have to separate myself from them. What size are they? Yeah, I think they're too big for me now. Let's just try one on. Actually, it still fits, but I'm not feeling it anymore. So, I'm gonna get rid of this one and that one. So, finally, if New Look still does them, I think I'm gonna buy them in a small size. I love the, this top. It's from Adolescent Clothing. It's size L. It's a large. Too big for me now. I was going to crop it, but I've actually started wearing oversized t-shirts to the gym because I don't feel confident enough to wear just my sports bra and my leggings at the gym. So I'm going to fold this up and put it with the rest of my gym clothes. Because I was actually looking for this one because I couldn't find it. So I just want the rest of my stuff. Oh, I like this top, but I just don't feel as if it suits me. I bought this in September, I think, and I think the only time I wore it was in January. Like, it's a cute top, it's just not really me. My headphones falling off. Okay, many times I thought about getting rid of this blazer. Blazer? Blazer. Um, I bought it when I was a finance student, and um, I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit on the other side, but it's really nice to just uplift now and make it look more classic. So this... I'm holding on to it for now. It's like a good thing to have in your closet. I bought this, I don't know what to call it, it's like Teddy, a Teddy jacket. Does it have a name on it? No, it doesn't. It's from Shein. This jumper. I absolutely love this jumper, but the issue with this jumper is when I bought it, I didn't know that there was such a thing as I bought it from ASOS a couple of years ago. A couple meaning practically four or five. But I didn't know there was such a thing as a petite collection, a tall collection, a main collection. I didn't know there was anything like that. So when I saw clothes coming from a brand called quote unquote glamorous tall, I thought that was just the name of the brand. I didn't realise it was glamorous, the name of the brand, and tall was their tall collection. And so the arms are way too long for me. Like there's no purpose for me to hold on to it. But I really do want to hold on to it because I really like it. But you know what, I'll put in the navy power. This top is the same as the stripy one, except cuter. So I'm gonna keep it. Ah, oh. You know the best thing about getting older is being able to steal clothes off your parents. So this jumper was my favourite jumper of my mum's when I was a kid because it was pink. And somewhere down the line, I stole it from her. I think it was right before COVID. And yeah, it's just been amongst my stuff right now. Um, I don't think she's aware that I have it, so shh. See, this is the kind of clothes I should probably get rid of. I've literally only wore it once. I didn't have worn it twice, once in the film and once for some Instagram photos. That's actually the only times I've worn it. So, I'm going to hold on to it for a while longer because it is cute and I think if I do go on a night out with either a white browlette or a white crop top underneath, like it can be cute. So I'm going to hold on to it for now. Same as the pink one and the stripy one, except I'd say classier, more mature. We're keeping it. I think I'm going to get rid of this yellow crop top we love. White crop top we love. Ooh. Thrifted out of my mother's closet. My mum has some really, really cute stuff. I think this top is older than me. I think it might be 30, 40 years old. I really like it. I don't wear it often enough. 
I really do need to wear it more. This one I'm saying bye bye to. I guess it's just not a flash for it and like, it's like I put a potato sack on. Do I want to wear a potato sack? No. So the potato sack is going in the Ikea sack. I love this top. I actually yeah to wear it somewhere. But it's like so cute. But yeah, I'm keeping. I really love this. It's a, what's the term? Reworked vintage hill figure top. Got it from the brand Vintage Ab Vintage Abs. And yeah, it's really really cute. I really really love it and it's really really comfy. This is a cute blazer, like long blazer from a pretty little thing that I got a little while ago. And this is so cute. And it's like a cold matching set with the um the camel skirt I showed earlier. I just put all these crop tops on the same hanger because there's the red one, the brown one, the creamy white one, and the olive one. And like they're literally the same one just in four different colours, so I prefer if I will have if I will have them, if I have them all on the same hanger because it just makes it easier for me to find them. This top I am gonna get rid of. I think I have only worn this once, maybe twice. I know once for sure I wore it one Christmas and I haven't worn it since. This is just not a top for me. So this is getting the sack. Okay, this is what I was talking about earlier when I said you can find some really cool things in your mother's old wardrobe. This top is older than me. This is like a 30 year old top. Um, I think it's from New Look back in the day. I'm not 100% sure. And it's just, it is so freaking cool, I find. And yeah, I just really, really love it. It's just so cool. So I'm keeping it. I had to take a little break because I did not feel good. I'm gonna be honest, I did not feel good. And I think I might have the food poisoning from the Uber Eats all the last night. So, yeah. Moving on. The next thing I believe I'm getting rid of is this wonderful, beautiful top of mine. Which I don't really want to get rid of, but I only wore it once in the... I can easily just have like it's going loose there. I don't really want something that's going to show all my cleavage to the world. No. So, I think I'm going to have to say bye bye to this one. Ooh, next thing next, the matching skirt, which I'd put away with this top, which actually they do match, like they're the same blue. I actually had to shrink, not shrink, but like, do a little stitch in there. Why is it not focusing? But yeah, I had to do a little thingy there, because there was too much strap, and so it showed too much of the cleavage. I actually haven't worn it since I made it shorter. That's alright. I definitely wouldn't wear it with this underneath. Even though it kind of still looks cute, I don't know. But yeah, um, I didn't realise I'd done the match, but obviously I had. And it could go with this. Actually, that's a look. That's a look. So we're keeping both of these. The hair dyeing t-shirt. We're going to keep this one, even though I'm trying to not dye my hair anymore. It's probably still going to happen, let's be honest. Try, I'm trying not to bleach my hair anymore. This freaking top is 10 years old, gosh. I didn't wear it for the longest time because it didn't fit me anymore. But I didn't want to get rid of it because my brother bought it for me from his school trip to Italy. Um, when he was in high school. Um, yeah, I just, I didn't want to get rid of it because it was a gift he got me from Italy. And I've always wanted to go to Italy. But it's on my bucket list of places I want to visit. But I've just never been. This top. Oh, I love this top. It's from Shein also. And it's just like really, really cute. It says nice baby on it. I love it. So I got this from Depop. And it's actually a size 8. And it actually shows quite a good side boot. So I don't know how I'm going to style this. This is actually the last piece of clothing. At least now that's decluttered. I can't speak. <gasps> okay. At least now my wardrobe is decluttered. I might do declutter my wardrobe again to move into my new place. But for now, that is done. So we can shut the doors. On that. Bye!